it's a very small window of opportunity, um, you know, and that's what Milos is obviously excellent at, and he's hopefully going to really like kind of maximise that opportunity for me. So you say Milos made like twenty six changes in that in that one week. Do you, do you feel that because like the the goal is really to make small changes gradually, but when he makes twenty six, does it really hit you hard, or do you just kind of adapt? Right. It doesn't hit me at all because they are small changes. So okay, okay. With, with, I'm talking like what he'll do is on a Monday, he'll knock five gram of carbs off four meals. Okay. On a Tuesday, he'll he'll trip off, for example, my intra-workout and my pre-bed meal. On a Wednesday, do you know what I mean? So yeah. these changes he makes are so small, but because my food plan's different for every day, uh-huh. he, he just kind of, he just chips away at it each week. Yeah. Um, so me and my missus, we have a little bit of a laugh. She's like, are you looking? She says, oh, are you looking forward to checking in? I say, yeah, but I know he's going to take more food off me. <laughs> 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 and then he replies, I'm like, yeah, he's took more food off me. So h- um, how did you How did you and Milos, did you just reach out to him or how? What happened? Did you meet him yeah, at the show or something? Because so, he's at a lot of these pro shows that you've probably done. Yeah, so first and foremost, I'm a massive fan of Milos. Um, you know, I love aesthetics. I, like when I've been kind of coming up, Milos's physique is ah. why I aspire to. You know that that shape, the quads, the waist, the the fullness. I've always been a big fan of Milos. And then I actually saw him briefly in Texas when he was with Logan. Yeah. Um, and then after the Texas show, I got in touch with him, and we we started working together. You know, he's he's absolutely amazing. Like, he's you know, he's like he's like a, you know, he's like a men. He's not just a coach. He's like a mentor slash father figure. Yeah. Um. You know, he, he every time you you kind of check in with him, he's so enthusiastic. He's so fast. He's detailed. Um. Yeah. Like the information that he gives you is is second to none. Like I'm like I'm not sure if the guys listen or no, but Milos has kind of I call it like the Milos way. And he has his kind of protocols where he does his, like, his, his, when I check in, right, when I was off season, the first things he asks me is, can you eat more? Can you train more? Can you, what, what can you do more? Are you hungry? Are you wary you're not hungry? And he, he maximizes everything he can every week. And on the reverse side, when you're on prep, it's, um, where can you eat less? Where can you do more? And he, he looks at every opportunity uh, and and maximizes it and then i really like it because he's his philosophy is kind of like twice a day training i love training so that works great with me um his whole kind of nutrition setup where he has his kind of supplement drinks between meals mm-hmm. works very well for me keeps me very full keeps me feeling very healthy in diet phase um his mini cycles that he does um keeps for me works brilliantly because everything's responsive and working and as you start to get tired with a certain compound it changes you go on to the next one and it's effective how, how often does he change them four weeks six weeks how, how often? six weeks okay that's so smart. We, that's, smart. We do six, that's smart six, six weeks mini cycles but everything is for a reason and everything is progressive yeah and um, i don't want to give all the secrets away obviously but he you know he he looks. He looks at, uh, for example, like for example, if you've got a volumizing compound, he'll he'll rotate four volumizing compounds every six weeks. And if you've got like an enhancing performance compound, like a test based product, he'll he'll tr- he'll transition them each six weeks. Um, if you've got like a protein synthesis type steroid, he'll he'll transition that again every six weeks. So everything's always moving. Your body's always reacting. And why he's doing that is is manipulating the food on a weekly basis. Obviously, the training intensity and the volume is is really high. And you, I just feel like the 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 it just works for me, right? Mm. You know, when you find a coach that fits, like Milos for me is the perfect fit. Everything he does, I really enjoy and I like, and it it works for me. Like I get the results from it. 